It's that time again. Sony have officially revealed the games PS Plus Essential subscribers can download in January 2023. Tuesday the 3rd of January to be precise. Let's do this. First up on both PS4 and PS5 is the Sublime Jedi Fallen Order. Set after Order 66 is in full effect, we play as Cal Kestis in a story officially recognised as part of the Star Wars ongoing saga. It's a canon story. The core gameplay is made up of two elements, the exploration and puzzle solving seen in games like Tomb Raider and the combat mechanics of something like Dark Souls. Timing your sword swings, blocking correctly and looking for enemy weaknesses are important, especially on the harder difficulties, but it's way more forgiving than a typical Soulsborne game. The best bits are the force abilities and the surprisingly interesting story. Pushing enemies away or deflecting laser fire feels as epic as you'd expect, and after about 20 hours of gameplay you'll reach the finale, which lives up to expectations too. Another great inclusion in Fallen Order is Metroidvania style backtracking, going back to a location you haven't been to in hours with a brand new ability which reveals a completely new path to explore. It's such a good game it's already getting a sequel, it's on the way. Professional reviewers love Fallen order with the average score about 8.5 out of 10. So it's good, you should play it, and I'll race you to the Platinum Trophy. Next on PS4 is Fallout 76. I shall be honest, on release, Fallout 76 was a dumpster fire of bugs and emptiness. The iconic open world RPG attempted to replace NPCs with real life players, which resulted in a world lacking engaging missions and stories. Over four years have passed since then and hundreds of bug fixes and narrative updates have attempted to reshape the player experience. And those updates include reintroducing NPCs all throughout the world, representing different factions, more akin to Fallout 3 and 4. The story is set as nuclear bombs end civilization as we know it, and 25 years later it's time to exit the vaults that saved us and venture back into the world. Fallout 76 is rated 2.8 out of 10 by players on Metacritic, and a huge 5 out of 10 by the pro critics. Yikes. I wonder how many of those reviewers went back to see if Fallout 76 had improved. And finally, a game with an old school vibe, Axiom Verge 2. It's a Metroidvania outing which deliberately looks like the 8-bit versions of the games it's inspired by. The story sends a mother to Antarctica looking for her daughter. She stumbles upon the ability to harness nanomachines that give her new powers, and off she goes. Essentially, this is a 2D side-scroller, but there is a really clever dual reality mechanic in Axiom Verge 2, as we can shift to a hidden dimension. The story combines the earthly overworld with this artificial underworld to build a pretty interesting story, but the thing is, if you want to see the final cutscene, you'll have to finish the game with a high percentage. Or you could just look on YouTube, I guess. So that's it, that's the month and that's our games. What are you playing in 2023? Jedi Fallen Order, right? I'm Adam, it's been a pleasure, all the best for 2023, I'll see you next time.